Hi, Brian here from Pure Pyrex again. Mackie and I are back, and we've had a little bit of luck the last week or so. Um, actually, found a good few things, and interesting enough, and ironically, um, the very last three items that I found in in different places turned out to be uh, these two pint standard size casseroles. Which, are, which I call them standard size because they have the squared off handles and they're round like that. And the first one was uh, the 2001 casserole that it, um, I showed in a previous video. You can check that one out. Very cool thing. But the last two, this one here is called Sunflower. And I found that recently, just earlier this week. And just the other day, I think the day before yesterday, I found this one, which is called Ingrid. So I thought it was appropriate. We, we saw a field of sunflowers just the other day when we were driving. And um, I thought summery things, summery flowers. Got these lovely wildflowers of Ingrid here with the orange and red flowers and the lovely sunflower pattern. So the reason I put these two together, because I thought it was interesting as well, another coincidence, is that both these patterns came out in the year 1978. And they both ran until 1981, which is a three-year span. And they're some of the very last of this white glass that the JAJ Pyrex company in England produced. Um, there's a couple more patterns of the same style glass. And then they turned to this sort of opaque white glass for a few years. And then they stopped making the white glass altogether. So I don't really collect the opaque white, only the pure white. So... Um, what is interesting, and I'm always interested in sort of history of the JAJ company from Sunderland, and to try and pin it all down. Now I know that the company, the Ware, the, the Ware Glassworks in Sunderland has been around since the 1800s, and the JAJ company um, started producing their glass around the 1920s, so we know all that, um, producing chemistry glass and glass for railroad lighting and all sorts of different stuff. Um, until the, around the 1950s when they start making the white glass, which is the stuff I collect. Anyway, but it's the end of their um, history that I'm interested in, the crossover period. From when, in, we think it's around 1973 when the corn and ware company took full control of the, of the ware plant to produce the Pyrex and JAJ sold their shares. But what's interesting is that they kept um, the JJ logo on some of the casseroles for a few years. There's sort of a crossover period where some of the same patterns will have either the JJ pattern or a pattern that just says Pyrex England on it. Now, I'll show you the two patterns together. Hopefully, we can see them in the light. So, this is the earlier JJ with the crown. And it says made in England. And then this one is when after JJ left the company and Corning took over. And it just says Pyrex England on it. Now, an anomaly is that you can find um, patterns. And I do have patterns, or I do have items in the sunflower pattern that have both. <clears throat> so the first ones will have the JAJ logo on them, and then a little bit later, I guess in the last year or two, they would just put the England logo on it. So it's hard to tell what happened there. Maybe they have maybe they have um, casseroles that don't have the patterns already put on them yet or something, but they have the logo stamped in them because they'd be on the casseroles as well on the bottom, just the same. But uh, it's just an interesting thing. I've been trying to pan it down for a while now because some of the history of the company is... Not very clear, it's not very well documented, but uh, just kind of an interesting thing. So 1978 to 1981, you got Ingrid, which is this one here, which are just wildflowers. Can't really figure out, I've been trying to figure out which uh, actual flower that is, but I can't really identify it. It's just some sort of wildflower. I don't think it's called Ingrid. And this one's obviously sunflower. Another thing is sunflower comes in a whole lot of different things. You get dinnerware, plates, cups, saucers, gravy boat, 
sugar bowls, you name it, a whole range of casseroles and different things, and I have a fair few of them. Whereas the Ingrid pattern really only came in casseroles, um, several different sizes and styles of casseroles, but I don't see any tableware of any sort in this pattern. Just another strange anomaly in the world of Pyrex. Thank you very much.